Hey guys, welcome back. One of the things I wanted to do with my NAS, as I told you on the first video, is to be able to edit my videos that I use Final Cut for. So I was running out of space, wanted to use all of the new acquired space on the NAS to do that, and it turns out it is really easy. I've seen videos out there that use DSM-6 to do this on their NAS, which is the older version of that OS. But on DSM-7, it is really easy and there's no need to SSH in and run all these commands and do all of the things in order to get the shared folders working with Final Cut. So let me show you how easy it is. All you have to do is connect to your NAS with your browser and go to your control panel, go to shared folder, and you'll see the one that I created already and you can see that it's uh, being used. So uh, you just go create shared folder and then you have to pick which volume it's going to be on. Uh, I have my third volume set up for my editing and we're just going to call this a test volume because I'll get rid of it after this. Uh, just click next. Uh, I'm not going to use encryption and just keep hitting next and next and apply. And here I have my uh, volume right here. So if I just switch over to Final Cut now and I do a new library, I can, it will ask me where I want to save it. So under my locations, I have my as right here. And here is my test folder, and I will just say yes, I want to save it here. So here it is right here, untitled. You can change the name of that if you want, but you know it gives you a couple default events that you can delete or rename or use. And uh, just import your media and edit away, just like normal. Holy crap, that screen though. Oh, so much better now. <laughs> 